I've probably said this before, but I want to encourage anyone who wants to improve their health to have smaller portions. I study a lot and I'm learning so many really helpful things. And one of them is that hunger is from our mouth and throat. And if you're tired or nervous or something else, that's not hunger. That could be something else. It could be low blood sugar. Anyway, when I'm eating my little cup of food, which is like the size of my fist, sometimes I even feel full before I finish that cup. Now, I could eat 10 cups and I'll still want more food, but it's just like a desire of my mouth to taste the food. It's an appetite. It's not hunger. Because while I'm eating, and, and certainly when I finish that cup of food, I start, I start feeling sensations here. Now, our stomach is over here. So why am I feeling sensations by this esophagus? by the small intestines, by the large intestines. Why? Because the moment you put food in your mouth, you know, it's, uh, digestion starts with saliva, but your body, I mean, we have nerves everywhere, and your body starts sending signals that, you know, hey, there's food coming down. So that's why there's reactions in your esophagus and your other organs and your intestines. Foods coming down, meaning make room, get that food, that old food moving along because more is coming. This makes sense. So I find, maybe I'm a little slow, they say that the satiety, the, the feeling of fullness uh, takes 20 minutes. With me, it takes like 30. Maybe because of low blood pressure. Anyway, um, if I still want more food real bad, I look at my watch and I say, okay, you wait 30 minutes. And if you still feel hungry after 30 minutes, then okay, it could be real hunger. Have a little something. But so far, that hasn't happened. Mm -mm. After 30 minutes, I don't want food. I just want to start doing my chores, go work in the yard, go play with the dog, or do laundry, whatever. And is it a big deal for your health to just feel hungry for 30 minutes after each meal? 30 minutes, there's so many things you could do to keep busy and keep your mind off that hunger. Because after the 30 minutes, you, you feel good, you know you're going to lose weight. And that's another reason why it's a good idea to have a scale that measures not just the whole pound, but tenths of a pound. You want to see if you, the next day, if you lost a tenth of a pound, three tenths of a pound, because that's, that's instant encouragement. Look what I did yesterday. I mowed the lawn, I lifted some weights, and I was I waited 30 minutes after each meal. I didn't eat anything else. I went to bed, you know, a few hours after some good time after the last meal. So, and, and that'll show you, and that'll encourage you for the next time when you have to uh, do some exercises or wait 30 minutes after the meal that, wow, the other day I lost a half a pound doing that. I'll do that again because it feels so good in the morning to look down at that scale and see that what you're doing is working. I don't want to take pills. I haven't taken medication since, when was it? Uh, I had a terrible sinusitis because somebody was burning trees outside and then the other part of the time I was uh, living in a boat and somebody didn't want to fix the leaky diesel engine fluid, oh, forget it. Anyway, so 
then I went to a clinic. It cost like $500 for the doctor and the medication, and it didn't work anyway. So I want to be healthy. I don't want medications. I don't want unnecessary expenses. I don't want any downtime. I want to be active, 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 unless I'm sleeping at night. So think about all the wonderful things that can happen when you purify your diet, when you, you're not overweight. You know, I, you know, I had this terrible growth here, very ugly. You could look it up in one of my other videos. And I didn't do anything except, you know, have a pure diet for a couple of months. And I noticed that, you know, some of my nails that were starting to harden on my feet, they're now normal looking. I mean, your body just, when you give it what it needs, like a lot of these doctors say on YouTube, your body will heal itself if you give it what it needs. And it seems to be working. Even my hair is growing faster. So please be encouraged. And what else can I say? It's worth it. So what if you, if you don't realize things till you're old? Isn't this the perfect time to realize things so you could share it with younger people? So you leave some kind of legacy? There's a lot of stuff in here and you ought to want to get it out of here and onto other people because, uh, you know, if you're in the grave, you can't share this information. That's my motivation. <laughs>